here from the narc abuse coach let's go ahead and watch and uh, see what he's talking about i agree with this one even more so than the last one which they're at last one a little bit um but this one is more specific to exes you have uh, or people from previous relationships you guys go ahead and smash that like button and um, share the video drop a comment let's do it me he will be dying in pain in my absence what they do not know is you are enjoy absolute peace and you're loving it that is how you make them do something they don't want to do tell a narcissist what hurts you the most and the next thing you know they'll do the same thing again and again and again to hurt you even more they are childish they are extremely immature and you can use it against them for example you can tell them oh your absence hurts me so much when i don't see you it kills me that will make them gift you their absence which basically he never lied about that look i had uh you know my ex i told her like uh something that um an ex before had done to me like the way that she went about like you know what I'm saying trying to break up with me or whatever and man this narc took that information and did the same thing she did the same thing like i said man um you really shouldn't be opening up and telling your significant other every single detail about yourself but uh you have to watch people because like he said if um you know you tell them a certain thing and um they like to do the opposite so you tell them that he miss them and all this other then they'll uh try to run from you even harder i see the uh i see the sense in what he's saying you know what i'm saying i can I can rock with it um if you can though just tell them the truth and get away from them you know what i'm saying just get away from them they're bad people you got to be a bad person to um get off on giving someone else misery and a lot of these people do now we all know it stems from some type of childhood trauma but at a certain age you have to take accountability and responsibility for how you treat people but how, i mean See, I'm just a normal person, so my heart's good. I don't get off on treating people bad, trying to dog somebody out, all this kind of crazy stuff. I just, you know, you have to be soulless to, I mean, it's one thing kind of, sort of, with some, I'm not excusing it, but when some people get revenge because somebody did them really wrong for no good reason, but if you're just doing stuff because you're just, you was raised wrong, you never went to see any help and you know you were raised wrong not the ones so much that excuse me they don't know but the ones that know like they'll tell you some stuff about their parents you'd be like what you know so you know they just don't want to admit it they don't they don't they don't want to do anything about it you know what i'm saying they don't want to change their lives just like you know most low vibrational people but um most of everybody, like I said in the last video, were being trained to be narcissistic by uh, social media, media, news, um, your your favorite entertainers, movies, all that stuff, right? And since women are the biggest consumers and always looking for a leader, they're the ones that are the most influenced. That's why there's so many female covert narcissists running around here. Just trying to project fake ideology and, and try to come off a certain way. They have a bunch of different names for these women. Chameleons, you know, leftover women, stuff like this. You know, in some situations, alpha women. You know, these, these women, man, these females, they, um, they enjoy, I don't know if it's, it's women too, but I've, I've seen some videos where women are talking about this. I don't know if they enjoy the suffering upon women as much or at all the way they enjoy it when they put it upon men. 
man, they love to make you suffer. <laughs> they do. They they love to. And again, I'm talking about, you know, narcissistic women. I'm not talking about all women. Come on. But look, y'all, I'm not going to hold y'all, drop this video, put it on YouTube. But I will be back on TikTok a lot more, you guys. We're going to work out things over here, um, get things flowing again. And uh, it's good to be back. Anyway, love and light. Make sure you follow on TikTok and uh, YouTube if you're not subscribed. Go ahead and subscribe. All right. Love and light. I'm your brother, and I'm out.